All right. I brought out <clears throat> my my pipe junk. My pipe. I don't know. And then I've got some air stuff here. I want to figure out what I need to go from this male side that's on the tank over here, that nipple there. I'm coming out into this T. Start taking this apart. This oiler will go back in place somewhere along the line, but I don't want it right here, so. So this is coming out of our tank. This is going to be, these will be coming off of this, so I can remove this. And I have to remove this too, I think. This bushing. So, let's see how I want this to come off the tank. I want to try to elbow up into this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this straight out the front. Let's go look over here. I think I'll put this on here like that. And then I'll bring this out the front. Straight up. And then all I got to do is bring this down into here. So I need to go back up from this size up to that. Let's see how I can do that. Do I have anything? And this is what will be going in. All I gotta do is put this into here. No more elbows. So this will come off my tank. It'll be like this. And my air line coming off the pump will go right into here, back into the tank. I could run my airline back this way into one of those nipples back there, but I'm just going to put everything in the front all together. That way I don't have to worry about knocking things off the back here and knocking things off the front. Everything is in one spot. That's the thing about building stuff. You can do it however you want. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to make it back. I think I just got lucky. This will screw on there. That's all I need right there. My little quarter inch airline comes off the pump and goes into the bottom here. here. That's the dump switch that dumps any pressure out of the, um, that's left in the heads. 
Uh, let me see if I can get some tape. And we'll put this together. One more pause. All right, let's stick this stuff together. See, I can put this in any way. I, I don't. It don't have to come straight out to make a tight kink. I can like put it right there and have that pop tubing go right down into it. So, let's put all this together. Stick it on there. I always hold my tape in my left hand and twist it into the tape as you would be twisting it into the where it goes. That way you know your tape's on the right direction. Hey, don't kill snakes, but with this stuff, you want to get it as tight as you can get it because this is air and it'll leak. So, kill it. off here this Chinese pressure switch is pretty fragile too so they recommend not using tape on your fittings that go inside here but I don't have any Loctite so I'll probably use tape and just be very gentle with it That's the problem. Some people like to kill snakes with everything and some things are just fragile. You just can't do it. So now here's where I want to make sure that I've got everything in the right angle. This, I want to be almost straight up about that angle and this needs to be straight up, so. Break this black pipe though you can tighten the crap out of that I think I'm gonna go right there and take this all apart and put it back together as I go Again, cheap Chinese aluminum here, so be very gentle. I'm just gonna stop right there. It seemed like it was pretty tight. I want it right out in the front, or do I? Well, I guess it's gonna have to be how it is. We'll probably get about 100 to 120 pounds of PSI out of this tank and this setup. So that's plenty for any anything. Anything above that, you're in a danger area. We're going to stick our pop off in this open side here. The other side's already plugged for us, so we don't have to worry about that. You see, I'm being very gentle when I lay that down because everything nowadays is just fragile and cheap. 
and of course I order usually the cheapest freaking thing I can find if this don't work I'll I'll just buy me a a water tank pressure switch like I've done this and done it before and uh, just do my own setup but this here is kind of nice because it has the dump valve built into it plus it had the the pressure adjustment and the two gauges and then of course the cap will go right there once I'm done wiring it that's the on and off switch and that's another thing this this pressure switch has the on and off switch built into it some pressure switches don't they're just simply a pressure switch I think oh, I got two more things those will be I'm not sure what these I think these are just like a cutoff valve for air but I don't think I need those I'm just gonna go straight out with uh, my male quick connects these need to be the, the female I don't know what I'm thinking I need these parts right here all your tools have these coming off of it and your tools plug into the, your air so that's how you remember that I really don't get these. I'll figure out what those are later. You wouldn't need a cut off if you got that to figure out how to wire it. Which I don't think it matters either way. Uh, this wire will come in and wire on this side and it'll go back out to the pump here. Or the motor. So we've got a neutral and a positive and then the ground. Uh, does it matter which side goes back to the motor? I don't think so. I'll be able to get that around to the top and stop. I'm going to start right here and tighten the whole line of it. See how now this is going to come straight down and do that. Cameraman skills in action. Alright. These compression fittings have the little, the little ring inside of them. Make sure that ring is on there. We have this little vent right here. And when I got the air compressor or the pump in the mail, it had this little plastic. Let's see, this 
little plastic vent which will probably be fine just like that but since my uh, pressure switch has a dump valve in it it will dump it through that valve this in the same way and I might as well use it since it's there right so let me put some tape on the end of this take my fitting off because I don't want to ruin it tightening this part down all these little tips are from experience All right, now I had to take a break, and after uh, a little bit of cussing and finagling, I got my little tubing on. See, it hooks to the top of the pump there. Down to the pressure switch on the bottom, right there in the middle there. So, uh, basically all I have to do is wire it now.